Hello guys, how are you today? Good. Good, how are you? I'm um, alright. So look, we've got, to, we've got to pick our strength, okay? So the question says, present a showcase on how a community of practice would achieve improvements in school culture within one of the um, experimental learning strands listed below. So you've got cross-curriculum priorities that include sustainability in Asian century learning, and you've got general capabilities that include personal and social capabilities and intercultural um, understanding. So uh, best way to go about it is to maybe look at the schools where we're doing our practice and see if we can align some of these to our to the schools. So uh, my school is an independent school and it has a lot of kids from non-English speaking backgrounds. So intercultural understanding was a standout. What about your ones? Yeah, our school has the IEC center. That's the intensive English center. So that's that is built for those students that's coming from in an English background so yeah so probably the same thing intercultural yeah. understanding or maybe personal and social capabilities yeah. um, Eric what about your one yeah my school actually is also a multicultural school and um, has a very strong concentration of Asian immigrants and I'm, I'm actually just thinking Asian connection is part of the curriculum cross curriculum priority um, as per Akara, so yeah. I think we maybe we can consider using Asian century learning as our strength. Yeah, to be honest, I think that's um, that's where a lot of schools are heading. Um, I think it's an important um, theme and topic. So look, I'll probably support that. Would you? Would you just want to go ahead yeah, with yeah. with the Asian uh, century learning? I think that's a good one. Okay, beautiful. We'll lock it in. Yeah, okay. Anything we've got to do is we've got to discuss the modes of collaboration. Yes, definitely. We've decided we're going to do the Asian century learning as our strength for the project. Yep. Um, because I know the school and I go to the school every single day, so it's better I do the background and the scenarios. Okay, I think that makes sense. Yeah, you've got the, the intimate knowledge of the school. So, um, Emma, what do you think? I, I don't mind doing the project plan and the charts. Is that okay with you? Yeah, then I'll just do the last bit, continuous improvement. Okay. I, f I think that's pretty good. So, in terms of the project, um, Eric, you'll be doing background scenario. I'll be doing the project plan and the chart, and Emma, you'll be doing the uh, continuous improvements. Yep, okay. Anything we've got to do is we've got to discuss the modes of collaboration. Yes, definitely. We decided our theme center is the uh, we assign other jobs. Uh, what is our mode of collaboration? What do you think? Um, look, I know we all uh, live far, so we might not be able to always continuously meet at the uni. So I was thinking maybe we can use Google Drive yeah. and possibly a few Zoom sessions. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, that's a good idea, but we'll definitely continue our face-to-face -face meeting every week. No, no, definitely, yeah. So we'll do it once, once every Tuesday for the face-to-face -face. Yeah. and um, in order to complete the sections that we've allocated to ourselves, yeah. um, uh, you know, days that we're not coming to uni, yeah. we'll jump onto Google Drive yeah. and we'll, um, you know, tackle each section individually together or um, we can, uh, you know, do a Zoom meeting if we need to discuss anything critical. What do you think? Yeah, fantastic. All right, sounds and like a plan. Uh, definitely we're going to do the WhatsApp as well. Uh-huh, uh, we'll that's a good... we in contact. Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, guys, thanks. You know, can you see, um, so on the top of the first, second page? Yeah. Okay. I say the benefits of inquiry-based learning. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Probably just need to take the capitals off. Uh, no, not just that. The include. Uh, um, Including enhancing the students' inventive thinking skills according. No, no, sorry, sorry. It's now when I printed it off, it's a different page now. Okay, so it is page page <coughs> one. Page one, the last yeah. paragraph under scenario. Through the use of schools' resources and teacher support, the program will be an initiative across all faculties of the school with a strong emphasis on teacher collaboration to make sure the success of the program on a whole school level. Teacher collaboration is considered valuable and use positive student outcomes according to Keith. 
This program is to be introduced at school assembly and exact details to be discussed during roll call. Yeah. Did we did we agree to say to be discussed during roll call and classrooms? Is that <coughs> right? Well, I think details to be um, discussed or given uh, during the, the class rather than the roll call. In completing this unit and the project um, tied to this unit, it was very important to understand teachers being uh, looked at as uh, leaders and not just teachers as researchers. Now, this involved strategies that evaluate and take initiative to make changes, as opposed to teachers who are just purely researching and doing nothing. Um, collaboration is also very important. Te lead teachers collaborate with communities, parents, teachers, stakeholders and others in order to progress and keep continually having this professional development. Teachers need to be part of professional learning communities. Um, this is a requirement of um, teacher-led development and also teacher leadership. Because teachers really need to continually expand their capacity so we can achieve better learning outcome for the students through the PLC involvement. As our group, we meet face to face um, every week and we also communicate with each other through different modes such as uh, emails and WhatsApp. Um, and in this way, we get to know each other much better and we develop a really strong respect to each other and we share ideas. This is all part of a professional learning community. And also in the future, when we go to schools, we're going to be involved in the faculty meetings, school meetings and during all those meetings and also professional development we are going to share ideas and um, further our capacity so we can become better change agents and also teacher leaders. So look guys, I think what's important is to drive the Asian century learning, we must embrace collaborative learning and this program's success is tied with you guys. Being head teachers, um, it's very important that you drive the point home to other teachers that have to come together and collaboratively embrace this initiative and this program. The cultural assets of this school coming from an Asian background is also very important. So I don't think it'll be hard to um, uh, get everyone uh, engaged and involved. Any questions? So um, where should we start it? Uh, I think it's very important that we do it, we introduce it during assembly, mm -hmm. and then you guys elaborate on it in, in the classroom. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the details should be definitely in the classroom. So every teacher's got to do that in the classroom? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so we'll make an announcement during the uh, assembly okay. um, and then the teachers, you tell your teachers, the head of departments, so uh, make sure all your faculty know about it. Mm -hmm. Drive the point home that they have to um, you know, embrace this program as a whole school-based initiative where there is this competition going on. Yeah. Okay? So the winner will present their finding, their findings will be um, or sorry, their winner will have their projects put on display in the admin office. Make it a big deal for them. Okay, okay. sounds good. No worries. Excellent. All the best, guys. Yeah. What's important um, is that we should be able to tap into the cultural assets of the, the students and the teachers. There's a strong um, Asian student base and teacher base from Asia. So I think in order to make this successful, and to teach the Asian Central Learning and uh, promote it, I think it has to be a whole school uh, based uh, um, initiative and this program should be embraced by all teachers collectively. So let's have um, Mr. Smith, Ms. Uh, Adams, if you can please
drive the point home to your um, teachers as, as heads of departments that it's very important that we work together um, on our school-based program where all of us are driving the point home that it has to be done before the end of the term. Thank you.